Hello everyone and welcome to class. Uh, it is Monday here and we are doing 40 minutes of Pilates and we're going to start straight away. So we're going to come down onto the mat. We're going to do very traditional Pilates today, lots of core work and a full body workout. So let's start sitting up, hands underneath those legs and I want your knees aligned with your hip bones. All right, draw your shoulders back and down, lengthen through your spine and let's just take a moment here to just feel where we are in space, feel your sit bones on the mat, feel your spine lengthening and then we're going to take a breath in Breathing out, we're just going to pull the tummy muscles in and try and flex the lower back. So you're keeping your upper back as still as you can and you're trying to get that nice little stretch there in the back. Breathing in, lifting up nice and tall. So exhale, pull your abdominals in towards your spine. Gentle flex of the lower back. Breathing in to come back up. One more, exhale. And come back up. Now you're gonna take your arms out to the side. You're gonna take a breath in. You're gonna exhale, flexing the spine, bringing the arms forward. We're going a little further back now. So starting to challenge those abdominals. Inhale, hold. Exhale, coming up. Deep breath in, exhale, arms come together, abdominals pulling towards the spine, going a little further back. Take a breath in, hold, exhale, come up. Again, deep breath in, exhale, pull the tummy in first and then start to go back. How far you go is entirely up to you. Whatever challenge you wanna give yourself today, inhale, Exhale, come forward. This time you're going to stretch over those knees and lift up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, coming back. See if you can challenge yourself to go a little further. Inhale. Exhale, pull your abdominals in. Lift up, reach forward and stretch and open out. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale. Coming back, inhale, exhale, pull the abdominals in, reaching forward. And this time you're going to come up and open those knees out to the side, open those arms out to the side, take a breath in, exhale, draw the abdominals in, coming back. So we're just letting our hip flexors having a little rest here, inhale, exhale, let's focus on the abdominals, reaching forward. Lifting up, arms up to the sky, circle them out to the side and forward, deep breath in. Exhale, coming back. Inhale, hold. Exhale, coming forward. Deep, deep stretch, arms up to the sky, circle them out and bring them forward. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale, scooping those tummy muscles in, coming back. Inhale, exhale, going forward, nice little stretch. Lifting up, now bring those knees back up, circle the arms out to the side, bring them down underneath those thighs. Let's go down towards the floor, so deep breath in. Exhale, scooping in and coming all the way down. I'm just gonna scoop forward slightly for you. Here we go. So bring your arms down by your side. Let's take a breath in, breathe out, tilting the pelvis and peeling the hips up off the floor. Press the feet down, press the hips up. Remember to keep those ribs down so we are using our muscles here, our oblique muscles, inhale. Exhale slowly, coming down through the spine. Try and feel your way down through your spine segment by segment until you're back on your mat. Deep breath in. Exhaling to tilt and peeling the spine up. Inhale to hold. 
and exhale, slowly coming down. So in Pilates, we don't rush. We don't want speed, we want real quality of movement. So take a breath in, breathe out, feel your abdominals pull in towards your spine. Keep that connection as you lift up. Inhale. And exhale, slowly coming down. We'll do three more, deep breath in. Breathing out to tilt. And peel that spine up, inhale. Exhale. Slowly lowering down. Deep breath in. Exhaling to tilt. And peeling up. Inhale. Exhale, coming all the way down. Once you're down, you're going to bring your arms up overhead, circle them around to the side and place them on the floor, palms up. Let's bring feet and knees together and let's lift one leg up and then the other leg up and squeeze those knees together. Okay, so you can feel your inner thigh muscles working. We're going to breathe in, taking the knees over to your right and breathe out to come up. Other way, inhale as you go over and exhale up. Oh, my back is cracking. Inhale as you go over and exhale up. So we're trying to keep the shoulder blades on the floor. So it does become much more of a core exercise. Yeah, we're looking at building strength through the center of your body. And up, four more. Inhale as the knees go to the right. Exhale to bring them back. Inhale as they go left. Exhale up. Inhale over. Exhale up, and last one, inhale over, exhale up, right leg down, left leg down, making sure you're neutral. This is my Pilates warm-up we're doing at the moment, hands behind the head, fingers interlaced, elbows open. Taking a breath in, you're going to breathe out, nod your chin, and lift your head and chest up, keeping your pelvis completely still. Come up as high as you can without allowing your pelvis to move. Then you're going to inhale, exhale as you come down. Deep breath in, exhale to lift. Inhale to hold and exhale to lower. Deep breath in, exhale. Lifting up, pulling your abdominal wall in towards the spine. So you're trying to focus on muscular movement here rather than any joints moving. So really focusing on that tummy, lifting up. Inhale. Exhale to come down. Next one, let's go up and stay up. Deep breath in. Exhale to lift. Now reach your hands forward, place them under your thighs, pull your abdominals in, try and lift a little bit more. That's it, just a little. Now keep that height, bring your hands up, take them back behind your head, support your neck. Take a breath in, and as we breathe out, we're gonna to rotate to our right. Inhale back to center. Rotate to the left, and back to center. To the right, and center to the left, and center, and center, rotate, and center, rotate, and center, last one, and center, stay there, reach those hands back around, take a deep breath in, exhale, pull the abdominals in, try and lift a little higher, a little higher still if you can, good, now bring the arms up, well done, and take them back behind you. Circle them around, so keep your chest up. 
Arms come up. Reach them behind you. Circle them around. One more. Up. Behind you. Circle around. And then you're going to come all the way down. Take the arms back overhead and roll onto one side. So you're on your side for our side leg lift. So it's still part of the warm up. We're going to take a breath in. We're going to breathe out and we're going to lift both legs up. This hand is facing upwards. And then you're going to lower down. As you lower, reach out. So you're going to exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and lower. One more. Lift, hold the legs there. And let's just lower the bottom one and then bring it back up. Lower it down and bring it up, lower it down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, one more, down, and up, and bring both legs down, well done, come on up, let's go straight on to the other side, okay, so lying on your side, lengthening out, okay? So imagine you've got a really nice straight line there through the body. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Exhale to lift, and lower. Exhale to lower, exhale, lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. Lift, and low one more lift and hold lower the bottom leg and bring it up and lower and bring it up good lower and up lower and up two more lower and up and lower and up hold it here bring both legs down roll onto your front Feet together, reach your hands back, place them on the back of your legs and then we're going to breathe in and raise the chest up, breathe out to lower down, inhale to lift and exhale to lower, inhale lift and exhale lower, lift and lower, lift, and lower, one more, lift, now see if you can hold it there, take your arms out to the side, and then you're just going to lower the hands, touch the floor, lift them up, lower, and lift, lower, and lift, it's like a bird flapping its wings, and three, and two, and one, well done, hands under the shoulders, pull your abdominals in and come up into a kneeling position. Okay, so we're gonna do a basic press up. All right, so you want our hands slightly forward and then in line with your shoulders, elbows pointing back, abdominals pulling in. And we're gonna start with the knees down. Okay, and you're just going to take your weight forward. So all the weight is in your arms and then press up. You're going to go down, press up, down, press up, down, press up. So keep your shoulders down. You should be really feeling this in the back of your arms. If you aren't, you might need to let that body weight go forward a little more. Last one. Very good, take a deep breath in, exhale, tucking under. Give yourself a good stretch, inhale, come back. Exhale, tuck under. Inhale, come back, one more. Exhale, tuck under. Inhale back, reach your right leg back. Reach your left leg back. Now hinging up, so hips to the ceiling, 
all the way up. Get into that good up stretch, lower those heels. Oh, doesn't that feel nice? Feeling that lovely stretch through the lower part of the legs. And then walk your feet in towards your hands. All right, let the head come down, bend your knees. Let's widen the feet a little, bend your knees. And then I want you to sit back as if you were sitting in a chair. Take your arms out, see if you can go a little lower. This is just for hip mobility. Yes, and then when you're ready, bring yourself back down into the roll up. So let's start with knees bent, arms out, take a breath in. Exhale, like we did at the beginning of class, coming down, but arms go overhead. Then you inhale, exhale. If you need an assist, you place your hands underneath and come up. Take a breath in, exhale. If it's too much, you only go as far as you can hold it. That's it, inhale. Exhale, coming up. If you want to do it with the legs straight and you, that's a, appropriate for you, then please do. Inhale. Exhale, come up. Big stretch forward this time and restack the spine, tucking under. Come back. Inhale. Exhale, coming over. Last one, you're gonna come down, you're gonna stay down. So all the way down, bring the feet in and reach them up to a tabletop position. We're gonna do the hundred, so you're gonna reach your hands up, place them behind your head, take a breath in, and then you're gonna exhale, lifting the head and chest up. Now you've got a couple of options. If you have any issues with your neck, you can keep one hand behind your head and we'll do 50 with the right arm pulsing. Then you'll swap the other 50 with the left arm. Otherwise, both hands are gonna come down. Lifting up a little more with that chest. All right, take a deep breath in and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Hold it there, change hands if you need to. Take a breath in. And exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Last time, two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Well done. Hands back behind the head. Take a breath in. Exhale, try and lift a little bit more. Good, then take the right leg down, the left leg down, the body down, the arms out to the side and lengthen those legs. So you're gonna lift your right leg up. We're going to do the leg circles, okay? So you're gonna flex your left foot. Right foot, you're gonna keep the toes pointed. One breath per circle, so we're gonna circle. We're gonna inhale for one and exhale for one. Inhale for one and exhale for one. Inhale for one and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Come back, let's go the other way. Same leg. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So we really want you to use your breath. That's it, last two. Inhale and exhale. Flex the foot, place it down on the floor. Let's bring that left leg up, here we go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, last two. Inhale and exhale. Let's go back the other way. Inhale and exhale. Inhale 
and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last two. Well done. Bend the knee. Bring the other leg up to your tabletop position. Hands are going to go underneath and just let your feet drop down a little. Let's nod the chin, lift the head and just start to do a little rocking movement. So start with the bottom half of the body and then you're going to make it a little bigger, a little bigger until you can come up and find your balance. Now you can leave your hands there if that feels more secure. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you're going to place your hands on the front of your uh, shins and bring them a little closer to your body into the rolling. So we pull the tummy muscles in to tip back. Inhale. And then exhale to come back up. And then you've got to try and stop at the top. So you're using all your core muscles to find that balance. Let's go again. Pulling in, tipping back. Exhale up and hold. Tipping back. Up and hold. Tipping back. And hold two more. Last one. Hold. Let's bring those legs up. Hands underneath. Little teaser prep. So I want you to pop your elbows out to the side. Take a breath in. Exhale slowly. This time articulating through that spine coming down just onto the back of your waist. Then you're going to inhale to bring yourself up. And as you come up, try and straighten the back and widen across the front of the chest. Take a deep breath in, everything rounds as you come down. And then you're going to come forward as you inhale, lifting up, drawing the shoulders back and down. Let's do one more. Exhale down. Inhale. Coming up. If you can, you're going to release those hands and hold for three, two, one. Well done. Bring the legs down. Let's have those legs out in front. Knees can be bent or straight, whatever feels good for you. And let us do the saw, so you're going to open your arms out to the side. You want your spine nice and straight. We're going to rotate to the right. You're going to bring that left arm across and then you're going to reach forward as if you were going to saw off your little toe. Head goes down towards the knee. Then you're going to lift up. You're going to bring that right arm in line. Then the left opens other way. So we rotate and then we go forward. We lift up, bring the arm in line and open, rotate and forward and lift and open, rotate and forward and lift and open, rotate and forward, lift and open, last one, rotate and forward and lift and open. Well done, bring the legs together, take the hands behind the head, take a breath in, exhale, turn towards me, two little pulses, one, two, inhale back to center, exhale the other way, one, two, inhale, center, and center. So every time you turn, think of moving upwards, you know, like a, like a wine cork coming out of a bottle. That's the image. It's quite a nice image, actually, isn't it? And up. One, two. And up. Two more. One, two. And up. One, two. And up. Well done. Bring your arms down. Take them behind you. Let's bend the knees. Let's do a little bit of work on the shoulders. So let's take those hands back a little. Fingers pointing out. If you feel you can, you've got that flexibility in your wrists, you can have the fingers pointing towards your body. 
All right, you take a breath in, breathe out, push into the hands and the feet, lift up and feel that lovely stretch across the front of the shoulders and then gently down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Can you hold it there? I lift your right heel and take it down. Lift the left heel and down. Right heel and down. Left heel and down. Four, four. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. Come all the way down and then bring yourself up if you need to give your wrists a little shake out. Okay, coming on to your side, we're going to do a little bit more work. So if your wrists find this too challenging, you can do this next exercise on your elbow. I actually think this is a harder way to do it for the core. So feel, do what feels right for you. I'm going to do full arm today. So we're going to do the side bend. All right, so the legs are bent. Arm out to the side. You're going to breathe in and lift up. Find that line. Now, as you go over, you take the arm over, you're also trying to create more of a bend in the side. Okay, then you're going to inhale back to that T position and then exhale gently down. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale over. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale over. Inhale up. And lower down one more time and lift. And over. And up. And lower down. Well done. Let's go straight on to the other side. So challenging, I know, but that's where we're at now. We are challenging ourselves. Okay, so think of drawing in, being stable to start with. Hand, if you're doing it with a straight arm, you want the hand slightly further out. So when you lift up, your shoulder is directly above your wrist. Okay. Here we go. Deep breath in, lift. Exhale over. Inhale up and lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale over. Inhale up. And lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale over. Inhale up. And lower down. One more and lift. And over. And up. Now, if you are up in this position, I want you to turn into your plank position and then bring those knees in underneath you. So now everybody is here in this position. All right, now if your wrists are uncomfortable, you can come down onto your forearms for this next exercise. Okay, it's up to you, whatever feels right. Let's reach the right leg out. Really being mindful of keeping still in your center, you're going to lift and lower that leg. So nice straight leg, lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift and lower for four, three, two, one. Now hold the leg there. I want you to imagine you've got a pen between your toes and you're going to draw a circle. So you're going to go down, out to the side, up and across a circle, like the porthole on a ship, not too big but you're gonna feel all your bottom muscles working. Two, and one, let's go the other way. So pull your tummy muscles in, trying to keep your body still and isolating the movement to the leg. Two, one, and bring that leg in. Let's slide the other leg back, here we go. Lift and lower. 
So as you're lifting, you're being mindful of the center of your body and your lower back not moving. Yeah, there's no movement there. It's just coming from the hip joint. That's it. And three, and two, and one, hold. Now, take the leg down. Draw your circle out to the side and around. And two, and three, and four, and five. Good, other way for five, four, three, two, one. Well done, and come on in. Good, from there, let's bring our hands out slightly. Knees back slightly. We're going to do a second set of press ups, this time with the arms much wider, elbows going out to the side. Okay, we can still have those knees underneath you, but weight forward. So we are weight bearing through our bones. Here we go. Lower for one, for two, for three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Well done. And then from there, bring yourself all the way down. Separate those feet, elbows bent. Tuck your chin slightly. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out. And we're going to start to lift up away from our mat. Now, pulling the abdominals in. I want you to push yourself up to wherever feels okay in your spine. Take a breath in and then breathing out. Think of dropping the elbows first. So we go onto the elbows and then the body returns to the floor. So taking a breath in, you're going to breathe out, draw the abdominals in, start to lift onto the elbows and push into the hands and come on up. Take a breath in. Breathing out. Elbows down. And then body down. Deep breath in. Exhale. So keep your shoulders down. Press into the hands. And lift. Good. Elbows down. Now, if you're up for a bit of adventure today, we're going to add something on. So, otherwise, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. You carry on. So, those that want to, we're going to breathe out to lift up. Coming into that top range of your spine. Now, I want you to think of really uh, tensing the muscles in the legs. All right, pulling the abdominals in and making sure your elbows, can you see, are pointing down. Because what we're going to do is keep the body still, but rock forward on the elbows and up. It's just a little rock. It's a basic swan dive, but it's a small one. So do a little rock forward. They call it the swan dive. We're not going big today. We're just going small. Just get the feel of the movement. It's a great massage for the tummy. And three more. Three. And two. And one. Come on up. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Coming all the way down. Hands under your shoulders. Push yourself up. Pull your tummy muscles in. Rounding that spine and sitting back. Just so you can release that back for a moment. Good. Come on up. And I want you to come and sit on your bottom. Okay. Bring your arms out in front. Take a breath in. Breathe out. And let's slowly come down to the floor. I would like to try with you today the rollover. This is something we do in our weekly class on Zoom. I'm going to give you all the options. 
All right, and you stick with the one that feels right. So option one, tabletop, hands down on the mat, pull the abdominals in and try and peel your bottom, your lower spine off the floor. Yeah, so just trying to peel your tailbone off by pulling inwards on the tummy. What you don't want is the tummy going up. You don't want any kind of bracing. Everything's pulling in in order to make that happen. Now, if you feel you can do more, you pull in and you lift so that your knees are directly above your eyes. And then you exhale to calm down. All right, so we lift and lower down and lift and lower down one more and lift. Now, because I can't hear any of you, I don't know if you want to do more, but I'm going to show you what happens next. The full exercise would be the legs extended. You breathe in to bring the legs to 90. You breathe out to roll over. Legs hopefully parallel to the floor, abdominals pulling in. Then we flex the feet, separate the feet, and we try and lower them without going any further over onto the neck. So this will always depend on flexibility. You then press into the floor to bring yourself back down and bring those legs together. So you breathe into 90, breathe out to go over, flex the feet, separate the feet, and then reach in downwards until you feel the stretch in the back of the body, the lower back, the legs. Coming down one more time, inhale. Exhale over, flex, separate, and lower. And then you're gonna bring yourself all the way down, legs together, bend the knees, hands underneath. All right, and then from there, we're gonna do that little rocking again to come up. Come all the way up when you're ready. And we're gonna finish with the seal puppy, which we haven't done for so long. Always makes people smile. That's why I'm giving it to you today. So. Bring your toes together, your knees apart. Bring your hands through the center and then slide them under the feet so you can pick the feet up like so. Okay, your back is very rounded because we are going to be rolling. Okay, so like the rolling like a ball, you pull your abdominals in, you tip back and then you're going to come up. All right, tip back and come up. Where we make it a little more tricky is you add three beats. We go one, two, three, roll back, hold it, one, two, three, and come up. One, two, three, roll back, one, two, three, roll up. One, two, three, roll back, one, two, three, roll up. One, two, three, roll back, one, two, three, roll up. One, two, three, roll back, one, two, three, roll up. Last one, one, two, three, roll back. And one, two, three, rolling up, hold it there, draw your abdominals in. Let's take the hands to the outside, lift those legs up, take them to wherever they will go. As straight as your body will allow. Draw your abdominals in, we're gonna finish with a little hold. You're gonna bring your arms to the side, lift your chin, look up and over those feet. And hold for four, three, two, one. Bring the feet down, cross them. Take yourself forward and reach those legs back. So you're in a plank position. Coming up to finish, we're gonna push up towards the ceiling into our up stretch. We're gonna press our chest towards the thighs. We're gonna lower the heels and we're just gonna lift the right leg up, give it a little stretch. That's it, and bring it down. Left leg up, give yourself a little stretch, and down, once more, right leg up. And bring it down, left leg up. And bring it down, and now let's just come back 
with the heels down, walk the feet, hands back to the feet, bend your knees, let your head go, take a breath in, breathe out and slowly unroll the spine all the way up to standing, reach your arms out to the side, good, and then take them back out, chin to your chest, bend your knees rolling down, inhale at the bottom, exhale coming up, reach your hands out to the side, good, and back out, chin to the chest, bend your knees, and rolling down, and for the last time coming up, all the way up, reach your hands up, bring them together at the top. So in like a little prayer position, then bring them down past your face and resting on your chest. And thank you very much indeed everyone for joining me today. It was wonderful to have your company. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was our 40 minute full body Pilates workout. It's a wonderful standalone workout. It is also part of my 30 day Pilates challenge. So if you want to take up the challenge, this was day 22. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to press the like button. Please do subscribe. If you are here with me now live, I'm gonna come onto the chat. That's when I will answer any questions you have. If you have a burning question about your Pilates practice, this is the time to do it when I'm here live and I can talk to you directly. I will be back live on Friday at 10 a.m and uh, the playlist will continue. So there will be another video for you tomorrow. All right, so if you need to go, have a great day. And if you're here for the chat, I'm gonna come and talk to you now. Well done, everyone. I hope that went well for you. Do let me know what you thought. Um, I feel quite energized. I hope you do as well. Um, right, so thoughts, I'd love to hear from you. Just a quick reminder that yes, we are on our 30-day uh, playlist. Today is day 22 of it. And today was quite a hard workout, but don't worry because tomorrow, it's only 10 minutes tomorrow, but it's with weights. What I'm gonna do is we're day 22 of 30. I'm bringing in some Pilates with equipment work for you so you can see the variety of videos that I do. And also you might find that there's a piece of equipment you really like working with. And if there is, then you need to tell me because I will make more videos for you. But over these next eight days, you'll be having resistance band, which we did on Friday. I've had lots of great feedback about Friday. So if you haven't on Friday, go and do it. It's a really lovely workout. I really enjoyed it. In fact, my muscles were quite sore afterwards, which was, I rather like. Uh, we're also doing Pilates with a small ball. We're doing Pilates with small weights. We're doing the magic ring, the Pilates ring, the magic circle, depending on what you call it. That's all coming up over this next week. Okay. And then next Monday, next Monday will be the last live of this playlist. All right, so make sure you see me because I'm gonna make it a really lovely special workout for all of you because I know you've all been working so hard at doing this Pilates every day for January. It's been tough, hasn't it? But I'm hoping it's helped you reset your mind and body for the year because although we call this the Pilates Challenge, this channel is as much about healthy mind as healthy body. Yeah, we don't buy into all that, having to be really skinny, wear the latest gear, all that kind of stuff, no. This is about you just feeling good because you're moving, all right? And that's what I want you all to keep doing. And I think you're doing wonderfully well. All right, so I'm gonna have a quick uh, look at the chat. What I'm gonna do today, because we're short on time, is I'm gonna shout out those people who bought super stickers. So the super stickers, if you don't know what they are, and this is your first time here, 
If you look down the bottom of your chat, you'll see a little smiley face emoji. That is a super sticker. So you can purchase one of those. And what it will do is highlight your name in a bright color, which means I can see it. It draws my attention to you and your name and your question. So it's a great way to get my attention if there's something that you need to ask me, okay? Uh, so I did wanna say hello to uh, Carla La Bombard. Hello, Carla. Thank you very, very much for your donation today. I believe this is your fifth super sticker. So yay, thank you very much indeed. Much appreciated. I also want to say hello to Mary Margaret Seagraves. Hello, Mary. Thank you very much indeed for your uh, donation today. Lovely super sticker with a very cute emoji and a cup of coffee. Thank you very much indeed. Hello to Wayne Woods. Hi Wayne, how are you? I hope you're well. Thank you. I can see your name lit up there in green. So thank you very much for your donation today. Oh Myrna, hello to Myrna Morell. Myrna, I haven't heard from you for ages. I hope you are well. I can see your lovely bright yellow super sticker and your very cute emoji in there. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much, uh, Myrna, much appreciated. Uh, Patricia Proudfoot, hello to you. Thank you so much for your donation, Tricia. Uh, and Tricia says, thank you for day 22 challenge. Yes, well done, Patricia, you're doing so well. Marie McLennan, hi Marie. I know you're doing it because you've been sending me messages. Well done, Marie, keep on going because we are, this time next week, we will be pretty much done. Yes, that's you've only got this week to do and then you have completed the challenge. So well done. Uh, hello to Carol Watkins. Hi, Carol. Thank you very much indeed for your donation as well today. Much appreciated. Um, OK, so I'm just going to whiz through now and just see if there's any questions. Uh, from anyone, I can see Trisha's telling me it's very windy, uh, windy up in Yorkshire. The weather sounds awful all around the world. We've got that awful storm here at the moment, so it's not it's not the best. Um, yes, there's some questions about our little Boo, my rescue dog. She's not very well at the moment, so she's not here today. She's sitting with Kerwin, my husband, in the house, keeping nice and warm. Uh, so there we go. Uh, going down, June Kowalczak. Hello, June. Lovely to see you here. June is uh, definitely, uh, I know, is one of my regular supporters on Kofi. And I know there's a lot of you out there support me on Kofi. I do want to quickly say I haven't had a chance to give you my special message on Friday, which I know I usually do. I am sorry about that. This uh, challenge that we're running or that I'm running at the moment is taking all my time. It's crazy busy. I'm working long, long hours. I'm working Saturday and Sunday at the moment to keep this challenge going for you all, to try and keep up with as many messages as I can. So I'm sorry if you support me on Kofi, you've not had your message. I will try and get something out to you this week. Those of you who don't know about my Kofi page, that's my creator page. It is a completely free page for you to look at. What I post on there, is always either exclusive or you get it first before it even goes on YouTube. And all the messages I write on there only go on there. I don't post them across other social media. And uh, what you do for me on Kofi is you support me. So that's where uh, people donate to keep this channel going. And what I ask everyone is, if you can consider it, is to set up a monthly donation because when I know what's coming in, it allows me to make decisions about what content I make, how much time I've got, maybe getting someone in to help me with some filming. These are all the things that I do with the donations, all right? So it all goes towards growing the channel, growing the quality of what I deliver and especially doing this for you live because as you know there aren't many creators uh, who do live or should I say there are lots of creators that do live there aren't many Pilates fitness people who do live this is actually live so if I make a mistake or I get my words in a mix or in a muddle even <laughs> that's what you see it's not edited it's exactly how I am. This is how I would be if I was teaching you in person, 
all right? And I know a lot of people like that. They like the fact it's live. They like the fact that you and I are accountable to meet at this time every week. So if that really resonates with you and you want to keep this going, then I would really ask you to look into my Kofi page and setting yourself up as one of my regular supporters. It's really easy to do. You only do what you can afford. You can stop it at any time. There is no obligation. It's not an app or anything like that. It's not a paywall. It's simply if you feel you want to support me for what I do for you, all right? So it's all up to you. Uh, but thank you so much. Um, Hopefully, June, you've managed to join in today. Hello to Olga in Poland. Hello to Marian Wilk, whose grandparents are in Poland. Uh, I love the fact that you guys chat to each other all across the world. It's so wonderful. Hi to Sue De Pinto. Hi, Sue. Lovely to see you here. Hi to Robin. I know Robin's in Zurich. Sue's in the USA. Hello to Jay Komyo, Komyo who's in Florida. Hello to you. You guys are doing well. There's people from all over the world. Uh, hello to Malgolzata Ludovica. Did I say that right? I hope so. Hello to you. Hi to Mandy Smith. Yes, you do the osteoporosis ones, Mandy. Absolutely. Uh, just so you know, Mandy, I have on Friday a standing Pilates workout which will be osteoporosis safe we're going to be doing it with weights this friday just small weights it's all going to be standing so that's going to be a great one for anyone who wants to tone arms shoulders back work their legs but yeah, with a very upright uh, spinal position uh, so lots of good stuff coming there uh, hello to Marie Spaulding who says love your workouts hello lovely to have you here Myrna, lovely to see you. Has it been four years already? We're coming up to our anniversary, Myrna. Myrna says, March 2020 was when I started with Rachel. And right now, I've got no plans for quitting. How wonderful. Well, Myrna, it's so nice to hear from you. I do hope you're well. Um, and it's lovely to see your name come up. Um, June Kowalczak has a question. Let's have a look at uh, June's question. I'm getting awful hamstring cramping. I drink eight plus glasses of water a day, so I'm definitely hydrated. I do stretch. When I do my bridge, I do on my tiptoes. I don't get cramps. Is that okay? Absolutely, June. If that's what makes it work for you, then absolutely do that. Uh, what I would suggest is, uh, do you eat bananas, June? Bananas can help with cramp, apparently. I've had quite a few clients who have told me that. Um, I also know that coconut water can help. Sometimes it's not the hydration, sometimes it's a lack, and I think it's potassium that you're needing. So maybe have a look into that, June, and see if that helps. But if that works for you, that is completely fine. Um, Marion Wilk says, yay, I made the whole 40 minutes. I'm so proud. Still can't do that roll up, but this time I was not upset. Thankful. Thank you so much, Rachel. Marion, I just love that message. Thank you so much, because I know you and I have been talking to each other a little bit, and you have been hard on yourself in the past, and today, I'm so proud of you as well because you are going, yes, I did it. I'm happy with what I could do. And that's brilliant. That's where I want us all to be. Yeah, proud of who we are, proud of what we can do and not stressing about what we can't do. That's the way to go. That keeps you happy up here. Yeah, and that's, that's what I want for you all. Eleanor Kerr says, great class. I had to modify any hand arm pressure as I have chronic arthritis in my hands. Totally understandable, Eleanor, and well done for doing the class on modifying it to make it work for you. So excellent work. June says, that was a toughie, Rachel. I could couldn't lift, I could lift my bottom off the floor on my back. Couldn't manage leg up and over. Oh my, you're a powerhouse. Well, you know what it is, June, everybody. I'm going to be 60 this year and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to keep going and do all those Pilates exercises because I want to show that you know age does not have to hold you back from doing things that you want to do 
right? So, and I'm here to help all of you guys. So I'm gonna keep going and I want you to keep going with me. Uh, Rita Lafleur says, got some cramps and I couldn't really do the last part of the seal and the rollover. My lower right back was really tight feeling. I really enjoyed this, but I'm frustrated with some moves that I could do. All right, Rita, so this is for you, as I was saying to Mariela earlier. I'm really glad that you are doing this. Keep going, try not to get frustrated. Uh, the fact that you've got that tightness on your right lower back sounds like you really need to stretch that part of your body out. Uh, I would suggest that you go and look at one of my stretch videos that I've got. I've also got another one coming up this week, actually. I think it's on, I'll tell you when, on the playlist. I think it's the one coming on Wednesday. Uh, let's see, let me tell you now. I've got tomorrow, we've got a weights workout. And then uh, the day after, I've got a Pilates and ballet inspired stretch it's only 15 minutes, but there, the stretches in that are really, really good for you, Rita, for everybody, that they will hit that spot that you've been talking about that feels really tight. So do go and have a look at that on Wednesday. Uh, Marion says, but I recognize that my diastasis recti is very awful. It's still how to hold that core. Yeah, I have made a note, uh, Marion, about uh, making a video for diastasis recti. So it is on my list and my plan is, um, I'm just going to write this down for Marion, remind myself again, is that to do some filming in February uh, because as you can imagine doing this 30 day challenge in January, I'm literally living and breathing 30 day challenge at the moment and I haven't really got any headspace to work on anything else, but I will do a video for the diastasis recti. I have actually got a formal uh, certification in pelvic floor health, uh, diastasis, recti, recovery, and pre and postnatal Pilates, and a lot of the uh, the things that come with that will will help with that too. So um, I will make a note of that, Marion, and I'll try and film something uh, in February. Okay, uh, and don't don't worry about reminding me. It's fine to remind me as well because there's so many things going on at the moment. Uh, Leoti says, hello, I can't lift my head for the 100 because of neck strain, but I still get a workout. That's absolutely fine, Leoti, and that's the right way to do it. If you feel it in your neck, head down and just focus on that engagement of the core because it still, as you know, works you very hard. Uh, and says, also, I'm not weight bearing on my right arm, but I was still able to work, thanks. Brilliant stuff, because uh, I know you've got your rotator cuff issue, haven't you, Leoti? So hopefully you've been doing that video that I made for you and you will get there eventually. Kim B says, love the steady pace, perfect flow. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so just going down the chat. Oh, there's been lots more people coming on the chat since then. Um, Terry says, I wasn't sure about doing today's workout. The thought of 40 minutes didn't appeal. I started and I completed it. Couldn't do it all, but did most of it and feel so much better for it. Thank you. Terry, I am so pleased that you did it. That was a great exercise, wasn't it? In mind over matter. You did it anyway. And actually you realized afterwards how good you felt. And I think this is an issue for lots of people now, is our lives are so busy and so fast that the thought of anything being 40 minutes or even half an hour sometimes is like, oh, I haven't got time for that. And I think, and I'm like this as well, and that's why I'm sharing this with you. I think it is really, 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 really important for our well-being going forward that we make that time and we, we kind of instill a discipline in taking care of ourselves. As in, right, that half an hour, that 40 minutes, sorry everybody, but that's my time and I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna go off to my space. I'm gonna do my Pilates with Rachel, etc. It really will make a difference because as you can see from Terry and everyone else who's chatting away today, how much better she feels having done it. Even though it didn't appeal at first, having completed it, She's got that, and that's because you've moved your body, Terry. 
we've all moved our bodies which means we've got other things going it isn't just the physical movement that you're doing it's what that stimulates within the body itself the healing processes the oxygenation the more air in the lungs all those things the endorphin rush you get the happy hormones all of that stuff comes with doing movement so keep on doing uh, Irene says hi I tried to follow the 30-day playlist but I can't find uh, that the shorts only play very briefly how about a minute or two is that what I should be happening or is it the way I'm viewing them uh, okay Irene so if you're looking at the shorts the shorts are a taster of the whole video so if you follow a short you should find if you click on the short just click anywhere with your arrow with your cursor on the short it'll take you to the full video and if there's any uh, if that doesn't happen for you then the easiest thing to do is to go to my playlist section so if you go to my channel homepage where you've got the banner across you've got a photo of me there look just below and you'll see it says home videos live playlist etc go to playlists and then below playlist you should see 30 day pilates challenge click on that and that's the whole 28 so far because i've left the last two 28 videos all right today was number 22 i hope that helps carol watkins says that was a wonderful day 22 huge difference uh 70 and rocking it yes carol wonderful from boston absolutely wonderful uh, and Ali says, hi Rachel, great workout and a little challenging too. Had a little problem going over the head, uh, but got it after that. Thanks a lot. Feeling energized. Wonderful stuff. Rita Lafleur says, so glad I completed and many thanks for day 22 challenge. Uh, Vatagia Sarah or Sarah Vatagia says, hello from France. I found that really hard today. Thank you so much for all your wonderful workouts. You are very, very, very welcome. Uh, Rita, oh, lovely, says, Rachel, you are 110% right, and I love you for doing this. Oh. And Rita says, Rachel, my daughter absolutely loves your foot workout you recommended. She said, thank you so much. I'm so glad to hear that. Send your daughter all my love, Rita, and lots of love to you. Well done. Really pleased that helps. Hello to Janet. Janet, thank you very much indeed for your donation today. Much appreciated. Uh, oh, and we've got here... Um, oh, June said, because of my type 2 diabetes, I can't eat bananas, only green ones. I'll check out getting more potassium. Thanks, Rachel, for the suggestion. You're very welcome, June. And we also have from Rita a very good suggestion about checking out your magnesium levels. I do have to tell you all, I take magnesium every single day. If you are uh, a woman, particularly a woman who is peri or menopausal or postmenopausal, magnesium so 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 important for your body go and have a look do check it out yeah very important i take it every night before i go to bed it helps me sleep it helps your body stay calm it does lots of other very important things for you so do go check that out uh okay um and i've got a question from jacqueline little who says hello Please, can you do some exercises for me that don't involve spine rolling as I've had spinal surgery, uh, PLIF, L4, L5. Also, I've had a bilateral knee replacement, so I can't kneel pelvic curl. Totally understand for uh, Jacqueline Little. Jacqueline, would you mind p putting that message down in the comments? because the chat goes, and I already have some videos that you could do just off the top of my head. You could do the core workout. I have a 20 minute core workout, which has no flexion in at all. It is for disc problems. Uh, and that will also work for you because there's no flexing in it, but there is work on the core. That would be great for you. But if you want me to give you the links, if you post it in the comments, I'll see it sometime this week and I will post you direct links to the videos that you can do. 
Um, okay, so I know there's lots more questions, but I've been on the chat for so long, I probably need to go. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to you all for following me. Hello to Tiola. Lovely to see you there, Tiola. I'll be back on Friday, Friday, 10 a.m. UK time. Uh, but before that, make sure that you check out the playlist so you get tomorrow's playlist right tomorrow it's a 10 minute standing workout with weights Wednesday's a lovely 15 minute ballet stretch it's some really nice workouts for you this week so we've got that light and shade we did our 40 minutes today really kick start the week and that's going to get a little bit easier as you get through the week and then we'll be back on Friday with a weights workout all right so take care everyone it's really lovely to see you look after yourselves and I'll see you soon bye for now Bye-bye.